build a network, we need to talk about IP addresses and subnet masks, how they're related and how, what does it mean and how they're assigned. So we're going to start with what is an IP address? An IP address is a 32-bit, an IPv4 IP address is a 32-bit address that is assigned to your computer when it connects to a network or it is an IP, a 32-bit address that you assign to your computer when you connect it to a network. Uh, and that determines what network you are connected to. And we're going to go into a little bit of details of as to how that is decided uh, from a technological standpoint, less on an arbitrary administration standpoint. Now, generally, on a home network or most networks, you'll have what we call a DHCP, which is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol Server that doles out IP addresses. Uh, you connect to the network, it goes, hey, I'd like an IP address, I'd like to connect to your network. DHCP services, okay. And it goes through its list and says, here you go. Those lists are decided by some network admin somewhere. If it's your home network, it was decided by the device manufacturer when it was originally configured and the software was put onto the router, such as Linksys, Netgear, uh, D-Link. Uh, if you're running it with an ISP's modem router, such as uh, you know, a cable company or a DSL or fiber optic to your home, it is decided by them, generally speaking. If it's, again, their, their routers that you're using. And that's how DHCP is. That's how it's assigned. Otherwise, it's just an arbitrary assignment. But you have to understand how it works and why, what's the relationship between an IP address and a subnet mask. The subnet mask determines what network you are on. And to figure that out, we're going to do some decimal to binary conversions, and we're going to talk about uh, an IP address and figure out exactly what and where it is. So let's go ahead and make up an IP address. We're going to use cl and class C. So 192, uh, let's do 168, and we'll do 42, and 37. So our IP address is 192.168.42.37. That is what your computer was assigned. Now, how do we determine which network we are on uh, from a logical standpoint, not physical network, but which logical network are we connected to? In order to do that, actually, that should have left that up there. We confused everyone. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to take our subnet mask, which in this case is 255.255.255.0, and we are going to compare it to our IP address for our host. And we compare it using a logical AND operation, but we need to do that from a binary standpoint. So we need to convert this IP address into binary to determine which part is the network and which part is the host. In order to convert to binary, we need to understand binary. So in a decimal system, you have your ones place, you have your tens place, you have your hundreds place, and then your thousands, 10,000, 100,000 in it, base 10. Zero through nine, carry the one to the next column. In a binary numbering system, we have zero and we have one. Zero and one, which means that this number is two. It's the one's place and the two's place. So when you see a, a joke that says there are two types of people in the world, those who understand binary and those who don't. So we have a one's column, we have a two's column, we have a four, it's exponentially increasing, then it's eight, 16, 32, 64, 128. Now I'm gonna stop at eight because that's how many bits we have in each what we call octet, which is the four segments of a IP address. It's the four octets in an IP address. So that's why you have eight. Otherwise, this could go on 256, 512, 1024, numbers that sound familiar. And then it's 2048, 4096, so on and so forth. But we're gonna focus on, on these eight. So 192 is the address that we're looking at, and to convert that to binary, we're going to start with uh, a 1 in the 128th place, which we subtract 128 from 192, and that leaves us with 64. That one was easy. So that is 192. 168, same thing, 128. We know that 64 is too many. 32 will put us at, what is that, 128 and 32 is going to be 160. 
So we just need eight more. It's not going to be a 16. We'll have a one in the eight, and then we're done. 192, 168. 42 and 37. So we know that we're not going to need 128 or 64. We do need a 32 for 42, which means we have 10 left to figure out. It's not going to be 16. 8, we'll have 2 left, so it's going to be 1, 0. So it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Binary. Very difficult to write this crap out. 37, we're going to start with no 0, none of that. We do need a 32. Do not need a 16. An 8 would put us at 40, so it's not going to be an 8. A 4 would put us at 36. 37. So our IP address is 11000000. And that is 4. That's, yeah, that's 8. And then it's going to be 101. 01. 000. And then it's going to be 00. 101 zero, 010. One, zero, one, zero. And then the last is going to be 001 zero, 001 zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, one. And now what we do is a logical AND operation across the two of them. And we're going to find out that we're going to end up with this is all going to be the same, and then this is going to be zeros. So our network that we sit on at 192, 168, 42, 37 is 192, 168, 42, 0. Or in binary, it's going to be 110, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, 6, 7, 8. And it's going to be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. 192.168.1, I'm sorry, 192.168.42.0. That is the network address that we exist in for this IP address. Now, if we want to throw something really crazy at us, this works with any of these. So, of course, now we get into the fun bits of math. So that's that one. We can change that as well. Let's pick one out of a class B range. So we're going to do 172. Might help if I write it out right. Uh, and then we got 16 to 31. So let's pick 28. All right. And then we're going to do, I don't know. Oh, screw it. Let's stick with 42. And then let's do same thing. Makes this really easy because then I don't have to think about all the fancy numbers again. Uh, in this case, with the same subnet mask, it's the exact same thing, and we can just look at it and know that's the case because these are all filled in, which means that we know that it's going to binary and across and become the exact same numbers. And then 37, so our network address for that is going to be 172.28.42.0. Now, if we change this, for example, It can't just be any number. It has to be, it has to be all ones to the end of the network. So if we take these three zeros here, which would be a one, a two, and a four, so that's four, five, six, seven, and we took that off of 255, what would leave us with 148 or 248? Now determining the network is a little more difficult. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do 128. And I know it's not 92. So it's 172. And then it's 32 is 168. So we know that. And then we need four more. So it's going to be 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. That's 172. 28 is going to be 16 and 8, which would be 24. 28. And then 42, we already know, is going to be 1, 8, and 2. And 37 is 1, 
So I'll write this out. It's going to be one zero one zero zero one zero zero, and then we're going to have three zeros, three ones, and two zeros. One two three one 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 zero zero, and then it's going to be zero zero one zero one zero one zero. Same thing as before. Huh. Zero zero one zero one zero one zero. Ready for yep, and then the last bit is going to be zero. Zero one zero zero one zero one. Now, this line is no longer relevant, and the line is actually here. It doesn't really make sense because this line here no longer means anything, because it's actually somewhere in the middle of this. It is here. But that isn't just as easy to do. That. I mean, we look at it and say, "Yep, that's the network, and that's the host." But actually determining what this number is versus this is really as easy as taking 42 and subtracting 2 and making it 40. Because we know that these are going to be the same and we get down here to this octet and we know it's three bits over so it's Two's place we get subtracted. So the network is 172.28.40.0, which means the broadcast address is going to be 1, 2, and 4. And we know that to be. So this is going to be 255. We already know that because it's going to be all of this is going to be ones. But then it's not all of this, it's just these three here need to be ones for the find the broadcast address. So we'll do a four, two, and one, which would be four, five, six, seven. That's one, so it's gonna be 47. So this IP address, 172.28.42.37, exists on the network of 172.28.40.0, and it has a broadcast address of 172.28.47.255. Hope it didn't confuse you all too much. Uh, this is this is basic IP address, IPv4 IP addressing, and subnet masks, and understanding what your network versus your host is. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, you can always like, subscribe, comment down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them. I will try to get to them. Uh, but there's a lot of information out there. I'm just trying to open the door for you. Also, check out dermalarmor.com and look up my Twitter. I'm also on Facebook and all the other fancy stuff. I hope this was helpful. My name is Kane, and I'm here to help you.